Hey, we are in the kitchen this morning and we are making a dish that will be a hit yes. at your next dinner party. Trisha Wheeler has already started. She's from the seasoned farmhouse. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so we are making a we're summer making, succotash. Yes, a summer succotash, and we're making a paste right now to coat a skirt steak. What exactly is a skirt steak? A skirt Trisha? steak is um, it's this cut of meat. So let me just hold it up here. It's the thin part um, of a cow that goes along um, How's the, the taste bottom. Of this? Fabulous. It so is. I've okay. made some ahead for you, and um, and so I was going to teach you how to make this paste because I've been marinating this piece for about an hour this morning in this paste. So see how I'm just chopping this. Yes. This is our garden garlic that we just pulled yesterday out of our garden, and so we've got and we were able to pull jalapenos out of our garden. So you've got our garlic and jalapenos from our farmhouse garden, and you're just going to be. Keep chopping just this. How fine do you want this? Just keep chopping. Okay. And then we're going to start smearing. That's going to be our next technique. You always give me the knife. I keep <laughs> thinking one day you're going to wise up. Yeah. So I'm going to put salt on this. Okay. And you're going to chop the salt, a lot of salt, into your paste. Why? What's that going to um, do? That's going to pull out the waters of the garlic and the jalapeno and start to pull out a little liquid. And then we're going to smear that. And so I'm going to show you your next technique in a second. Okay. okay so you're okay. Am this I doing is, this right? No, this is exactly right. No, so to make said. a paste, you're just your garlic and jalapeno, and you've just chop, 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 good. And then you're going to start smearing on the backside of the knife like this and see how it's getting oh, liquidy. Yeah. And then this is what you're going to rub into your skirt steak with some fresh lime juice and have that um, marinate for an hour. And then you can cook it in your cast iron skillet, on your grill, in your oven, and it turns out really nice and flavorful like this piece. So let me just clean the knife off for a second. Can I already and taste this? Yeah, you can, you can, no, you don't have to wait. And I brought you silverware today. So the, the, <laughs> the trick with, if you're gonna use it, the trick with the skirt steak is you cut it across the grain and it cooks really quickly and it's just a beautiful cut of meat. So. Now do you need to cut meat at an angle? I've always yes. heard that. Well, when it's a tougher cut, this isn't necessarily cut, but it does improve with cutting at an angle. Now, so. talk to us about the Season Farmhouse. Tell us about sure. it. Sure. We're a cooking school over in Clintonville, and we just teach. We love to cook, and we teach home cooks. <laughs> what do you Thank think? Thank you. <laughs> See? And mm. then over here, we're making our succotash. We're Very juicy. Throw. Yeah, isn't it? And really flavorful and cooks quick. You know, when you have to worry about, you know, is the steak done, and it's a really thick cut, and you're, you know, you're charring the outside. This, you can cook so quickly and flavorfully in a cast iron or on the grill, and it's ma done in a matter of minutes. So here we're making our summer succotash. So I've just been sauteing onions and a little bit of jalapeno and garlic and um, peppers. You're not using lima beans. I'm not using lima beans. Um, I was going to use edamame, but um, I forgot them this morning. <laughs> so that's right. what I would use. So it doesn't matter because this dish any kind of fresh vegetable saute added with the fresh corn will make it a succotash. And then I added a little bit of heavy cream in, and that's what's giving it this creaminess. And I took this corn yesterday, I um, peeled it from, the, um, got it at the Clintonville Farmer's Market, and then just shucked it and made this whole, so all week I could use this whole fresh thing of corn. You are all about farmer's markets. I do. And I, I love. In the I, garden. I love to garden and to. Is it too late though to start? A, I mean, it's the end of July. No, but can, there's crops that you, you can, can start. You can start a now. garden right yeah. now. You could start, and it'll be um, it'll be different things that you would start. But you can, you know, if you have a shade garden, you can start lettuces, and you can start um, your fall crops pretty soon. I hear probably. the pitter patter. Oh, Maria's coming Maria at the Durant right time. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> Try this real quick. Okay. okay, so we made a skirt steak down here. Oh, I have a fork for you. Maria. Okay, I was gonna. Make we you can guys share. Nice. <laughs> so that's a um, lime marinated skirt steak with a. You want to, you can just take Oh, do it. I, you want me to mix again? Okay. You can, you, you can. Now we're adding bacon? That's delicious. Yeah, and okay. then you're going to add a little bacon to this. Does bacon change yeah. the entire taste? It does. It just, it, you know, it adds that southern kind of, uh, succotash is like, you know, a southern okay. dish. And so it adds that, um, that flavor to it. You don't have to add the bacon. A lot of times they do it. Just, I love bacon. I know. That's okay. why I did it today. So <laughs> I knew you'd appreciate the bacon. So you and can just, just scoop it out. Yeah, you can just scoop a little bit out. I have to tell you, the flavor is delicious. And that's what we just made with the fresh jalapenos from the garden, the garlic. We just chopped it, put some salt, made a paste, and threw it's it not on spicy. for an hour. That's what no. we were afraid of earlier. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, because I have a jalapeno fear. You do? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, big time. Mm -hmm. But that's, because, that's delicious. Because Very it's flavorful. Too, because it's, you spicy. think it's going to be too spicy yeah. for you and mm -hmm. you're not going to taste the other. All of the above. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. All of the All right, above. Taste that. Good. Mm -hmm. Delicious. So, yeah, I mean, the bacon's not really that overpowering as no. I thought it was going to be. No. And then you could just add a little bit more like the fresh corn. And the fresh corn you should only cook for about two to three minutes when it comes right off the cob. 
like that. Maria, do you want a little bowl? She does. Right. Of course, there. I gotta taste there. that. Hey, by the way, to get the full recipe, just log on to our website, myfox28columbus.com, and click on GDC Recipes. Okay.